Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the Pulse app on your iPhone to record video directly into the D2L Video Note tool. The first thing you'll need to do is make sure that you have the Pulse app downloaded on your iPhone or Android. This video is showing you how to use the Pulse app in iPhone. If you have an Android, you can use the same principles. It'll work the same way. All right, so we first click on the uh, Pulse app. Once you've downloaded the Pulse app and signed in, it'll take you to your D2L homepage where all of your courses are listed. For this particular assignment, I'm uh, going to use my training sandbox to show you how to use this. Now once in the sandbox, one of the things that you will need to do is click on the top right hand corner, these three dots up at the top right, and launch the course homepage. This will take you to your D2L homepage within your browser. I'm going to click view as student just so I am in the student view and can access the assignment. Once you're in the D2L course homepage that you want to um, upload this video to, which is, it will open from your Pulse app, in the top left where the three lines are underneath the word done, you want to click on that menu and select what it is that you want to upload your video to. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to do it in an assignment text box. So I'm going to select Assessments. I can then click Assignments. And I select the assignment that I want to upload this video to. So here I want to upload the video to my term paper assignment. I'm going to scroll down to the Comments box. Whenever you have an assignment folder, there will be a comment box that you can upload comments into. In this case, it's a lot easier to just upload your video directly into the comment box. So here I'm going to select that this arrow underneath the word comments, you see the little, it looks like a little YouTube box, um, the arrow pointing to the right, you're going to click on that tool and you're going to select add video note. Once you add the video note, um, the uh, web page is going to ask for access to your microphone and camera, so select a your camera is not necessarily showing right now, and at the top left it says record webcam video or upload file. When on your iPhone or on the Android, instead of recording directly from your webcam uh, video, you'll need to select upload file. So select upload file, and then under upload file, select choose file. Now from here, you can choose a video that you've already taken. So maybe you took the video and you just want to upload it directly from your iPhone. You can do it that way. Or you can take the video. It's almost like shooting live. So you go ahead and click on Take Video. And now your video is recording. Select Start. And here we're recording a lecture. Welcome to recording. Welcome to recording in Video Note Tool with the iPhone. When you're done recording your video, just press the stop, and in the bottom right hand corner, select Use Video. You'll now see that your video file is attached next to the Choose File button. Now you'll want to Choose File. We're done. We, uh, hit Next. Sorry about that. I'm going to click Next. Give your video a title. So we'll just put uh, Tutorial using iPhone. Oops. Typing on a phone is always difficult. Done. You can add a description to your uh, video note if you want to. You're more than welcome to do that. In order to ensure accessibility, you can also add closed captions to your uh, video. So if you have collected, if you've created a video that you're speaking in, which you will be for some of the lab assignments, if you're going to be speaking, select unknown, choose the, the language, in this case it's English, select done, and check the automatically generate captions. This will automatically generate closed captions for anyone watching the video that maybe um, have a hearing difficulty or uh, a trouble understanding the video. Select Next. And here we'll need to wait a minute or so. Do not insert the video until your preview is showing on the page. If you insert it too quickly before the preview is available, then the video will not show up in the box. If you don't know if the video is ready or not, uh, just click on Refresh Preview. As soon as your video shows up in the box, select Insert. 
And now if I look down in my assignment, I can see here, let's make this bigger, I can see my video has been inserted directly into the comments box for my assignment. So any assignment that I am asked to create a video, if I'm going to use my iPhone to do it, I can do it directly in that video note tool. You have a maximum of 30 minutes recording time in the video note tool. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I'm going to submit this assignment. Uh, click the submit button. It will sub as a student, it will submit your assignment and you're all set to go. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you'll be able to use this tool in the future. Have a good day.